Just when you see a Boeing 747 flying over your head, you'll take it as pretty common. Then, if you're lucky enough to catch a glimpse of the Antonov and 225 up close, you might actually stop and say, wow, that's huge, 84 meters after all. But if you see something super big, that looks like a giant balloon, and even bigger than any plane you've seen. You'll surely think, is that thing even gonna fly? Well, guess what? It will. And it did. This is the Pathfinder one. It's not your everyday plane, not something that shoots up with lightning speed and zips around in minutes. Nope, this is something entirely different. This is something else coming straight from the 1800s. Now, you might be thinking, why haven't I heard of this before? And who's bringing this huge airship back after a long pause? Well, let's take off and explore the unknown. Well, if we look back at the history of airships, it's like a roller coaster full of highs, lows, and surprising comebacks. It all began in 1783 when humans first figured out how to float in the sky. The Montgolfier brothers launched the first hot air balloon, which literally created a big buzz in aviation. But while balloons were great for going up, the brother didn't know how to control them exactly. That's where a French mathematician, Jean-Baptiste Musnier, stepped in. In 1784, he sketched out a dirigible, an airship that could be steered through the air. His design was ahead of its time and never built, but the idea stuck. Years after, the world saw the first powered airship take flight in 1852. Henri Gifford, a French engineer, attached a steam engine to a hydrogen-filled balloon, which proved that airships could be more than just floating sacks of gas. It was slow and not very practical, but it set the stage for what was to come. However, if anyone truly changed the airship scene, it was Count Ferdinand von Zeppelin. In the late 19th century, he developed the first rigid airships. Those were some massive flying structures with an internal frame that gave them better stability and control. By the early 1900s, Zeppelins were the kings of the sky. They could carry passengers in luxury and were used for military reconnaissance. During World War I, Germany turned Zeppelins into war machines and started using them for bombing raids over Britain. They were intimidating, but ultimately they weren't very effective against modern fighter planes. Still, the Zeppelin name became legendary. And after the war, airships were seen as the future of long-distance travel. Then came the darkest chapter in airship history. By the 1920s and 30s, those flying giants were at their peak, especially with the launch of the majestic Hindenburg. This massive Zeppelin was a flying luxury hotel. Passengers who traveled on it got fine dining, elegant lounges, and panoramic views of the world below. But everything changed on May 6, 1937. As the Hindenburg was preparing to land in New Jersey, a disaster was waiting for it. The hydrogen gas inside, which kept the airship floating, suddenly caught fire. Within seconds, flames spread across the entire structure and turned the magnificent airship into a burning wreck. The horrifying scene was captured on film and shocked the world. After World War II, airships faded into the background. Airplanes were faster, safer, and more practical for travel and transport. The military still used blimps for surveillance, and companies like Goodyear kept airships alive for advertising, but they were no longer seen as serious contenders in aviation. However, airships never completely disappeared. In 1991, Westinghouse and airship industries developed the Sentinel-1000, which again proved that modern airship technology could still have a place in the skies. And in recent years, a surprising trend has brought airships back into the spotlight. And Pathfinder 1 is the name you might be heard and gonna hear in the upcoming era of airships. In November 2023, a new chapter in airship history began. As the sun rose over Silicon Valley, the world got its first glimpse of Pathfinder 1, a massive prototype electric airship built by LTA Research. This futuristic airship is a vision for the future of climate-friendly air travel. And the man behind the company is the tech giant Google's co-founder, Sergey Brin. Along with reducing carbon emissions, Pathfinder 1 is designed to support humanitarian missions. This airship is impossible to miss because it comes with a sleek, snow-white exterior and stands out even from the busy 101 highway. It may look like something from a steampunk novel, but its technology is awesome. Pathfinder 1 has taken features from modern drones like fly-by-wire controls, electric motors, 
and LiDAR sensing, and scaled them up to an airship longer than three Boeing 737s. It has the potential to carry tons of cargo over hundreds of miles. Although Pathfinder 1 looks futuristic, its roots go deep into history. However, after disasters like the Hindenburg, their popularity faded and airplanes took over. In recent decades, airships have been used mainly for advertising, surveillance, and research, but technological advancements have opened new possibilities. If you see the Pathfinder 1 closely, you'll find a good blend of classic airship design with modern technology. Pathfinder 1 is made with carbon fiber and polymer tubing, which makes it stronger, lighter, and more durable than traditional airships, which rely on heavy metal frames and fabric. This not only improves performance, but also boosts fuel efficiency. At 124.5 meters long, it's the biggest airship since the legendary Hindenburg and far larger than today's Goodyear blimps. That extra size means it can carry a lot more cargo, something earlier airships struggled with. Unlike old airships that ran on noisy, inefficient internal combustion engines, Pathfinder 1 relies on 12 electric motors that can push it to speeds of 75 miles per hour. These motors get their energy from a hybrid system combining diesel generators and batteries, which gives them the flexibility to take off and land vertically. That means it doesn't need a runway. One of the biggest reasons airships faded from the skies was safety, and Pathfinder 1 has solved those problems. It uses helium instead of hydrogen, which eliminates the fire risk that led to past disasters. It also features a fly-by-wire digital flight control system, which blends pilot input with sensor data, so there won't be those old manual controls that were tricky to handle. Pathfinder 1 has also made some smart design upgrades to fix issues that older airships struggled with. Instead of using the traditional cross-shaped tail fins, which were prone to damage during landings, it now has a simpler, more durable tail design. Another big improvement is the staggered engine placement, which helps reduce drag and vibration. This means a smoother, more stable ride, and better control in the air. Old airships were mostly used for passenger travel, advertising, or military surveillance, but Pathfinder 1 is far more versatile. It's designed to deliver humanitarian aid to remote areas where roads and airports don't exist. All credit goes to the vertical takeoff and landing ability, it doesn't need a runway, and it can be operated in tough environments where regular planes and trucks can't. But, before Pathfinder 1 could take to the skies, it needed to prove that it was safe and ready for flight. In September 2023, it reached an important milestone by receiving a special airworthiness certificate from the Federal Aviation Administration. This approval allowed the airship to start its flight tests at Moffett Federal Field in California. These tests are crucial to understanding how well Pathfinder 1 performs, how safe it is, and what improvements might be needed moving forward. The flight tests are focused on three main areas. The team is pushing the airship's limits by assessing how high, fast, and stable it can fly. They also need to ensure its safety, checking that all systems are functioning properly and that it can handle real-world flying conditions. Finally, they're collecting data during each test to help make any necessary tweaks to the design and operation. A major milestone came in November 2023, when Pathfinder 1 completed its first untethered flight. This was a big moment because it showed that the airship could fly freely outdoors without being anchored down. Since then, the team has been gradually increasing its altitude and distance, closely monitoring its performance to make sure everything is running smoothly and according to plan. LTA research isn't stopping with Pathfinder 1. They are already working on future models like Pathfinder 3, which will be even bigger and capable of carrying more cargo and passengers. The goal is to take airships beyond just testing and use them in real-world applications, such as eco-friendly transportation and delivering humanitarian aid to areas that are difficult to reach by planes or trucks. So, Pathfinder is not alone here, because some other companies also making significant strides with innovative approaches. Airship AI, for example, is really making waves in the market. In their third quarter 2024 financial report, they shared impressive figures, with net revenues reaching $2.9 million and a gross profit of $2.2 million. Meanwhile, H2 Clipper, Incorporation is taking a more eco-friendly approach with their focus on green hydrogen. 
This company is developing a freight airship that utilizes 100% green hydrogen as both its lifting gas and fuel. Their ambitious goal is to have full-sized airships flying by 2024, which will pave the way for greener air transport in the years to come. On a different front, Cyan Corporation is looking to make a splash in the commercial airship market. After successfully testing their high-altitude platform stations in August 2024, they're gearing up to begin commercial flights in 2025. This milestone is an important one, as their work could significantly impact telecommunications and surveillance operations by using airships in the stratosphere. While these companies are looking ahead to the future, Aerosmina from Russia is tackling the heavy lift challenge. This company is developing a massive airship capable of carrying a 600-ton payload. Their vision? A flying saucer-shaped airship that can travel up to 5,000 miles at speeds of 155 miles per hour. If they pull it off, this could change the cargo transport, offering a new method for moving goods over long distances. Lastly, Hybrid Air Vehicles is another company making big moves, this time in the military sector. In collaboration with Northrop Grumman, they secured a $517 million contract from the U.S. Army to build three airships for surveillance purposes. This partnership highlights the increasing interest in airships for both commercial and defense applications. So, with the Pathfinder One and other major companies, airships are making a pretty cool comeback these days. They're being reimagined as eco-friendly alternatives to traditional planes. As you can see, Pathfinder One uses helium instead of hydrogen for safety and comes equipped with so many safety features that it actually promises a long future for airships. And because of the other movements from around the world, the airship thing is getting a lot of buzz in both the commercial and defense sectors. Despite all the ups and downs they've been through, airships are ready for a second chance and they're definitely here to stay. Their story is far from over and the sky once again is calling.